Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about a C++ keyword const. What does const mean? Const is a compile time constraint that an object cannot be modified. So first, it's a constraint that an, an object cannot be modified. And secondly, this constraint is enforced at compile time. So here I have a const integer i equal to 9 and if I ch want to change i to 6 and uh, compile it it failed with the message assignment of read only variable i so this is what a const does it enforces the constantness during the compile time now let's look at some more examples const int star p1 what does that mean? it means the data that pointed to by p1 is a const but the, the point itself p1 is not const so if we do p1 star equal to 5 and then comment out this one and run it it will not compile because the assignment of read-only location star p1 however if we do p1 plus plus that modifies the p1 itself and compile it it runs through ok so p1 is not a const but the data pointed to by p1 is a const the way to remember it is by reading it const int so the integer is a const. Next example is integer star const p2. What does this mean? This is the opposite of the p1, which means the p2 itself is a const, but the data it points to is not a const. So the way to remember it is const p2. So the p2 is a const. Next one is const int star const p3. Now both the point p3 and the data pointed to by p3 are const. So it is easy to remember. Const int, the integer is const. Const p2, p2 is const. Now here is the tricky one integer const star p4 so what is const and what is not const the rule that you should remember is this if const is on the left of a star data is the const if const is on the right of the star pointer is the const Actually, you don't need to remember all this. All you need to remember is if const is on the left of star, it's one thing. And if const is on the right of star, it's another. So in this case, we can rewrite this code by changing the order of int and const. And since in both cases, the const is on the left of the star, so they are the same and this one is much easier to make sense of it's const int the integer is const so for this case the data is const the pointer is not in C++ the type of a data can be casted from one to another and the constantness of a data can also be casted away let's comment out all this and go to the first example we know this will not compile because we are cha changing a uh, const data. Say I really, really want to change the integer i, what I can do is this const cast integer ref i equal to 6. And now let, let's compile it. It runs through OK. So the const cast can cast away the constness of i. Now say I have an integer j and j is not a const so I can change it to any value I want but at a certain point I want to make j a const 
what I can do is use static cast const integer left j this will make j a const uh, integer and if I modify its value to 7 and uh, compiled it failed and the message is assignment of read only location const integer j so with cast I can cast away the constantness of a data and I also can cast a data into a const but in general cast is not a good thing you should avoid them as, as much as possible by cast away the constantness of a data I'm breaking someone's promise for that data to be a const so cast is a hacky way of coding so what's the benefit of using const? The beginners usually don't like const. It looks like uh, nothing but a troublemaker. When the code doesn't compile, remove the const and it compiles. However, const is really a good thing to use. It has several benefits. First of all, const guards against inadvertent write to a variable. So it can stop the wrong behavior at the compile time rather than wait until the wrong time. Secondly, const is a way of self-documenting. By using const, you are telling your reader that this variable will not be changed, and that is uh, extra information for your readers to understand the code. Number three, const enables the compiler to do op more optimization, so the compiler can make the code tighter, and therefore faster. And lastly, const also means that the variable can be put in ROM, the read-only memory. This is particularly useful in the embedded programming. So as a professional C++ programmer, you should be using const proactively. Next time, we'll talk more about const. That's all for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, so when I post a new video, you'll be updated or you can go to my channel's homepage and see what I'm offering today. Bye-bye.